first things first, let's talk about why we're learning the command line way instead of learning a visual tool. There are tons of really good visual tools out there for using Git. And it actually makes your life a lot easier than learning it from the command line. But the problem is a fundamental problem. When you start writing code, and you need to deploy it to a server, there is no user interface. There is no visual tool for deploying to a server. A server is all command line. And so while a visual program might help you learn Git when you're just working on your own computer, when you actually have to work on someone else's computer or working on a server, it becomes very limiting. You won't know how to do anything because that tool will be taking care of everything for you. Now here's the thing. The command line will always be available to you. It doesn't matter if you're on a server, someone else's computer, your laptop, your desktop, it does not matter. Git will always be available to you via the command line. You don't need a special program, you just need Git by itself. So when you're done writing code on your computer, you can get a full copy of all of your code on your server, on your friend's computer, anywhere else in the world. Now for those of you who don't know, servers actually don't have a graphic user interface. They don't have an interface at all. It doesn't look like your Windows computer, your Mac computer. It doesn't look like desktop Ubuntu. It's just all command line. And so this is going to teach you the command line way of doing things because this will actually create a stronger foundation for using Git. Now later on, if you want to use a graphic user interface, a GUI, that's 100% okay, and that'll be totally up to you. But it's a lot easier to learn the command line way of doing things now and then learn a visual tool later than it is to learn a visual tool now and then the command line way later.